Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is a part two on how you can create a checkbox component on Figma and add it to your design system. Okay, let's go right ahead and create it. So in the last part, we created this one. Now we're gonna create the checkbox item with the different variants. So right now, since I have my checkbox icon, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and find it in the assets. Look for checkbox. yep and let's drag it and bring it here all right now what I'm gonna do is start from here so this is the checkbox label it's gonna be a text let's go with checkbox label all right now I'm gonna change the I'm gonna actually change for this one I think this size is okay um let's go ahead and select them both and create a um, auto layout from it so i'm gonna sh hit shift a you know to come in order to create the auto layout now i'm gonna convert it to a component from here and i'm gonna rename it to ch checkbox item right then actually what i'm gonna do is create the first um text so I'm going to go to the properties, create a new property, which is going to be the text. And this one is going to be called label. And the value is going to be checkbox label. Create property. And now I'm going to select my text and connect it from here to my label, the, the property that I, that I created right now. All right. Now we need a variant. So first of all, we need a Boolean variant so uh, we can actually turn on and turn off uh, the hint. Hint is a text that goes underneath here. So what I'm going to do right now is going to be create a variant. The name is going to be hint or description. You can name it whatever. And what I'm going to do is increase the size of this a little bit. And right now, the, the hint for this is false. And I'm going to duplicate this and add a text that's going to be true. This one is going to be the value here is going to be true. What I'm going to do is create a text. For example, hint goes here. And I'm going to decrease its size to maybe 12. By the way, make sure to uh, add colors to these ones, colors from the design system. So it's going to be text. And for the for the text, when uh, text was with, when it's not selected, it's going to be body. The same here. Body text. All right. Uh, but this one is going to be um, subtitle. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this one and paste it inside of here. And as we can see, since this auto layout is only one frame and um, the layout orientation is um, horizontal, uh, what I'm going to do is actually select these, these two texts and I'm going to create another auto layout out of these. So I'm going to hit Shift A again. And now what I'm going to do is basically change the orientation to vertical layout, right? And before going and style it, let's change the, change the space in the gap here to our, one of our variables. So if it's going to be 12, I have the 12 in my spacings and it's going to be 12 like so. Then let's go ahead and space this, this one, the here. I'm going to apply four, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Or two. Let's see. You just need to see if it matches. Yeah, that, that's okay. All right. Now we have, let's also connect this to a, to, a, to a text property. So when we are using it, it's going to be easier. So let's go ahead and create it. Hint. Text. The value is going to be hint goes here create property I'm going to select this one 
and connect it to our hint text. All right, now we have created these two successfully, actually these three, and let's go ahead and create the selected one. Then again, I'm gonna increase the size here a little bit because our, this one is gonna be a little bit uh, bigger than usual. So I'm gonna select these two before doing so. Let's create a variant, yep. Let's not forget that. It's gonna be selected, it's gonna be false, by default and then what I'm gonna do is actually duplicating it to here yep and I'm gonna call it true the value is true and I'm gonna select these and hit select it all right I'm gonna also change the 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 color of this to a darker shade so it means that it's selected just a you know slight change and maybe we can bump up the yeah we can bump up the weight a little bit so let's go with subtitle oh that's too much yeah that's too much yeah this is okay I'm, I'm okay with it if you want to change it you can but I'm not gonna do it all right now the next one is actually um we need to figure out the error one right so sometimes um the checkbox um is you know when in ui when you want to uh, communicate something to the user that okay you need to like check this checkbox um you need to make sure to add that state again another variant it's gonna be error value what default is false what I'm gonna do is select these two and set the value to true all right now how can I change these to error so actually what I'm gonna do is well one of the things that I can do is basically go here and add another property here or you can edit it right now right right here from from this component but I'm gonna make it more consistent. So I'm gonna go here and edit it from here. So I'm gonna create another variant, call it error. And the value is gonna be false. Now I'm gonna duplicate these three. Place it here. Sorry. And Actually, I'm gonna delete. Um, no, I'm not gonna delete these. These I'm just gonna style them all together. The value is gonna be true, and then what I'm gonna do is, or yeah, <laughs> let's just delete them. I just need this one. So this is gonna be the error one, and um, the value is gonna be actually the style. The border is gonna get changed to our error. Error, and it's gonna be default subtle, like so. All right, now what I'm gonna do here for the error ones, I'm gonna select these ones and just hit error. There you go. And I'm gonna change the hint text to, um, let's go to text. I'm gonna change it to link label just to make sure all right that's it the next thing that we need to create here is actually the right justified one okay so in order to do that what I'm gonna do is expand this one a little bit I'm gonna select all of these and um, just duplicate them after I uh, create a duplicate, actually, I, I need to create a variant for them. So it's gonna be right justified. And the default value is false. All right, I'm gonna select these and set the right justified to true. And then what I'm gonna do sometimes in design, you want to have the checkbox on the right. So you just switch the space like so or if you want to save time you can select all of these all together and just hit the left arrow key 
and voila. And since it's going to be left justified, um, we need to change the spacing here. So it's going to be auto, right? So whenever I like increase this one, you can see. Or in order to make it more smart, what you can do is basically select these two, these ones and set the width to fill container. So whenever, like, and you can also, um, whenever you want to like increase the width here, you can see that the spacing gets reserved and you don't need to worry about anything like this, this one sticking to, to the text. Because if you go at like, uh, like this one, if you go like normal and set the normal gap, and if you increase the size, you can see that this one stays here. That You don't want that in your component because that's going to cause a lot of problem while designing. All right, that's it for this. And I think we can continue with the other ones. We, we are here, right, justified. We have the state. And actually, for the sake of, this is just duplicating. For the sake of um, saving time, because this video is already uh, quite long in two parts, I'm just going to copy these and add these two states, actually two, two uh, rows, state and size. Then I'm going to show you how we can test that. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, now I have created all the variants. Um, default hover focus disabled and also different sizes. I also aligned them a little bit and polished them So as you can see this is sent um, center vertically. I mean horizontally um, and Yeah, you can easily use it in your designs and So on and so forth also for these ones. I increased the size a little bit also I did the I made sure that the selector one is a little bit thicker uh, in terms of font weight and that's that uh, what else yeah I, I think that's basically it for the checkbox let's go ahead and test them so it's on the, on my assets it's gonna be checkbox item so I'm gonna search for checkbox item and then it shows up and as you can see if I want to add a hint I can easily add that and if I want to make it selected, voila. If it's gonna be error, yeah, right justified. I can easily size this one, also add a hint here, or make it selected, or change the status status to hover, or I can change the change it to focus, or at the same time make sure it's unselected and let's turn off the error. And I can change the text. For the label, for example, it's gonna be private account, and this can be a like description about privacy or something. Yeah, you, you can add any text you want. Then you can like increase the size, and then you can or go back to left, not right, just by you can go back to the left one, and. Um, change the size to your likings also oh yeah we need to we forgot to adjust the spacing here so what i'm going to do is actually not the la these on uh, on the uh, on the large ones i'm going to apply a bigger variable like 16 i think that's not good enough let's go with 20 yep that's better and also for the medium i'm going to change that to apply variable and it's gonna be 60 there you go and everything here is updated automatically let's change it to medium to check it out yeah that looks good and let's make sure it's selected we can um, delete the hint so on and so forth so yeah this is this was the video on how we can create a complete checkbox component and add it to your design system make sure to follow the other videos on how I sh how uh, we can basically create uh, the other components like drop down, inputs, but buttons, and um, add other styles like effects, textiles, so on and so forth. And also all these color tokens and colors 
they are all created via variables which is figma's latest feature and make sure to check those out so you can start creating your own own design system from scratch all right thank you for watching please leave a like subscribe to the channel that'd be a huge help also hit the bell notification so you get notified for the next video and again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers